Progressive Democratic Representatives Cory Bush, Rashida Tlaib and Ilan Omar joined doctors and other medical professionals outside the U.S. Capitol and called for a permanent ceasefire in the war between Israel and Hamas. The targeting of civilians is a war crime, said Bush, who represents Missouri's 1st Congressional District. The targeting of medical facilities is a war crime. The starvation and the withholding of water and electricity is a war crime, she said. The press conference took place one day after UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres used a rarely exercised power to warn the Security Council on Wednesday of an impending humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza and urged its members to demand an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. Presidents and world leaders around the globe su support a ceasefire. The Pope supports a ceasefire. This isn't controversial. It's long past time for my colleagues to recognize our shared humanity and value all human life. And I want to start by thanking, first of all, my colleagues. If conditions do not change immediately, we will see twice as many, three times as many, more people die of preventable illness, of treatable conditions, and especially of contagious uh, disease. Waterborne illness is 100% preventable, 100% treatable, and it's happening now and it will continue to happen without water, sanitation, and medications. This is 100% predictable. It's something we know is coming and we need to speak up and we need to stop the violence. How many times do we have to learn the same lesson over and over again? That peace and security will never be solved with mass killings and violence. That violence only begets more violence. The United States must make it clear as the country that funds Israel to the tune of billions of dollars every year, no more war. No more bombings. We must at long last have a permanent ceasefire that guarantees the security, peace, and justice for Palestinians and Israelis alike.